A very big hello everyone, this is Marisha Parikh, the CEO at The Wedding School, absolutely live on Instagram with The Wedding School. A big shout out to all our lovely students of Batch 1, Batch 2, uh, the current batch which is just going to be starting in the next 15 days. I am really looking forward to meeting all you lovely talented people waiting to nurture your talent and get you out blossoming ready to go and conquer the Indian wedding industry. A big shout out also to those from batch 4. Yes, the batch which is going to be starting on the 1st of September. I know I am a month away from meeting you but I'm looking forward uh, to interacting with you, towards teaching you, training you and getting you ready for this beautiful industry. Okay, very quickly, I'm just going to be introducing my topic for today. Today, I'm going to be talking about wedding planning, the various parameters, how it is an area filled with opportunities, rather limitless boundaries, where, where nothing, nothing can really stop you. What are the kind of parameters that we have? We're going to be discussing this in, in various aspects, we're going to keep in mind that our audience today is a mix of those who are aspiring to enter the Indian wedding industry. We are also having a very strong focus towards a lot of smaller establishments, uh, not necessarily from uh, the larger cities, but from smaller towns uh, that run their own wedding management firms who have been joining me live, who have been writing into us, who have been talking about wanting to understand how is it that they can grow in their business. So I'm going to be talking about the parameters uh, um, in terms of what are the kind of roles that one can get into. Uh, Smithesh has also joined us live and lots of people who have just been joining and trickling in. A big hello, Heyman is saying hello, 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 hello Heyman. Uh, so a warm welcome to everyone who's joined me over here on Instagram um, and let me get started. When we speak of the parameters in the wedding planning industry, I largely focused and referring to the fact that how unlike you know the routine jobs that one gets into, whether it's related to sales and marketing, every individual's career, okay, it starts and more or less ends with similar job roles that one ends up doing. Where, um, hi Smithish, where your opportunity to try out something new is fairly limited because it is perceived that you have got yourself trained and you have the expertise of a certain kind, therefore a certain kind of job work is given to you. You excel in that. You get a salary hike, you get a promotion, you get into moving from, you know, being the regional head to the national head, and that's about it. Beyond that, everyone starts feeling that it's a mundane job, it's a routine job. But what makes weddings really exciting is you are not restricted in terms of your role, your contribution towards a wedding company, in terms of your involvement in a project, in terms of how you design and shape up a wedding for a particular client. There is simply no limit to the way you can explore your personal talent. So that's why I, I love it, you know, there are no boundaries. You can go ahead and, you know, join a company that gives you an opportunity to work towards, say, for example, the hospitality, the logistics, managing the RSVP and getting the guest list ready. On another project, you can have an opportunity to explore your talent in the field of decor and designing the entertainment to moving in another project and yet getting a chance to work, say, on, you know, the F&B, designing the menu along with the client. So. Uh, there, there are lots of opportunities in varied roles where you are not restricted and guess what? That is exactly one of the many reasons why you have so many people who are so excited to join and be a part of the industry. Um, that is one of the reasons when a lot of the students who join event management uh, institutes and when they get an opportunity to work in a wedding, they realize that, guess what? 
I'm not just going to be limited to doing one kind of a job. I'm going to get an opportunity to keep exploring. And I think the youth today doesn't want the regular stuff. They want to keep trying new things. They want a new opportunity and they want to explore what is it that they can bring. Talking about exploring, I think uh, the one thing that a lot of uh, the young talent, which has been a part of the wedding industry for, I would say, uh, people who've crossed about five years in the industry, um, another limitless opportunity that you can only get in a wedding uh, you know, company or a wedding industry is that there are no rules to when you jump up the ladder. It is purely your talent your passion, your uh, the newness that you bring on board that truly defines your journey within a company and within the industry. Whether it is about your journey, starting with being a freelancer, probably then getting recruited into a company, there on being a good strong player that gives you the opportunity of either being offered incentives some of them have gone on and been offered partnerships in the, in the firms where they have serviced for more than five years. Some of them have moved on and become consultants to several other planners. So there is, there is so much that one can explore and do that again it brings me to the same point. Your personal journey today is as important as the journey of the company. Today, no individual is just working for the thrill of seeing the company succeed. Every individual wants to feel like a success story themselves. And that is exactly what weddings as a stream of line of work actually offers you. Gone are the days, you know, when our parents used to be loyal and work with the same company. 30-40 years ago, we company in that company. Company buddy and our parents, you know, felt very happy and they felt that yes, this is what we've done. Today, everyone wants the feeling of ownership. They want to feel the pride that the, you know, uh, the owner of the company will feel. They want to feel like they belong. And weddings is that beautiful space that gives you the chance to actually become. I have had a lot of my, uh, you know, peers today who once upon a time we're just working in, in a wedding management company and today they're sitting in, in the capacity of being a partner and, and I feel great for them, you know. Um, another interesting point in fact is uh, talking about limitless uh, opportunities is also that this uh, industry does not uh, question you on a lot of grounds. Um, I, I'm just going to take a quick minute and say hello to a lot of people who are joining me. Parul is here, Shrenik is here, Jitain is here, uh, Harsh is here, uh, Mahesh Mystery is here. So big hello to everyone. Uh, Purnima is saying hello, hello, hello back to you. Um, Juhi is here as well. So uh, Twisted Eskimo has also joined us. So waving out, a big shout out to you. Sakshi Jen has also joined us. I'm so grateful to all of you. Thank you. I hope you're enjoying uh, listening to me. And I'd really appreciate if you can also have your comments pouring in as to what do you feel in terms of the limitless opportunities that we're discussing today as far as the Indian wedding industry is concerned. Um, Kopal Kejriwal, hello to you as well. Um, so yeah, please keep writing in your views and uh, you know let's let's chat across as well um so yes i was talking about the fact that this industry whether it's um, your peers whether it is your vendors whether it is hotels that you license with whether it's your client none of them are concerned with a lot of aspects which really can affect your status uh, and your career in many other industries your marital status, it just doesn't matter in this field. I think women are treated at par, it, it is um, hardly of any relevance whether you're married or not, whether you have a child, how big is the family that you have to manage. As long as you're doing your work, uh, they know that you're going to give your 100%, they know you're going to come up with a lot of creative ideas, they know you're going to be focused on creating unique experiences 
that's all that matters so i i feel uh, you know very strong and powerful working in an industry that does not at all differentiate um i've been running my own wedding company for almost a decade now i have never had a single client who has ever uh, got affected by uh you know the fact that i'm married it it has not affected them uh in fact a lot of times i don't even end up telling them that uh, my business partner is my husband you know it doesn't matter what matters is what you're bringing on floor what matters is how involved are you in shaping up the wedding um you know and and how beautifully can you connect with the bride and groom um for me emotions uh play a very important role and uh, for those of you who join me very regularly you will know what i'm talking about uh i love connecting with people uh so that is what really is of significance um your financial standing is another thing that doesn't uh, bother people um i have people asking me what are the placement chances in the wedding industry and what is the average pay um very relevant question i can totally understand uh, since we're talking about opportunities opportunities definitely equates to what is the money the mola that's coming in so placement opportunities are a lot in fact for the students who have trained with the wedding school we ensure that you are given an internship with one of the leading firms uh, within mumbai and there on we put you on to other firms uh, for placement opportunities there it's it's a growing industry uh, kopal so there are too many companies um that have started their operations significantly in the last 3 years itself and therefore there are a lot of opportunities for the youth who want to get into it for those who are in fact dying to make a shift from the corporate uh, event uh, company to a wedding management company um talking about the average pay it depends a lot on what is your um level of experience like i mentioned a little earlier uh it does not really matter what you have studied uh in terms of your graduation the degree your mba what gives you an upper edge is if you have studied uh weddings as a formal stream of education because that then gives you the upper edge of being a fresher but yet knowing your business um uh, not having had done too much of practical work but yet understanding what will be required of you the day you are pushed out there on field onto a venue so for a person uh, who is starting off uh i can talk about you know those who have in fact studied with us and moved on your average salary starts anywhere at around 20 and it goes up to around uh 60 70 beyond which there are incentive programs and of course there is like i mentioned a little while earlier there are stakes here and there's a small percentage of the profits that companies end up sharing so that is how your numbers can keep going up uh for those of you who end up saying oh no i have seen people getting up to 2l yeah that is true but those are your one off cases um i i'll i'd rather be honest <laughs> and and get you on to understand that there is tremendous scope uh to grow and the best part about this industry is you don't have to wait for your turn you just be good at your job and you're just going to be called out of line and given that promotion or given that incentive because you have done well on a project so i i love that the you know the lines are very blurred in this industry you do not have too much of protocol following which is so not me so um you know in fact i i'd like to share that when i started off uh, with my own wedding management company I never had a single client asking me uh what is your background you know it was amazing because they are so focused on trying to understand what is it that you're bringing for their wedding uh they are more interested in understanding what is the newness uh you know what are the kind of themes what is your uh you know level of commitment uh so i i i love the fact that there is there is a you know it is organized 
but yet uh, the lines that define your growth are very blur you create your own journey and i think that that is really really something that i hold very close to my heart and that's why i love this industry big hello to lots of people who are joining us here beneath here beneath the great guru oh my god i don't know what to say i'm just scared that you might just pass on a shot to me through this <laughs> uh phone itself tejaswini uh, deep doshi sara shake um khushboo sinha sweety hi sweety and thank you everyone for joining and stay on and please keep pouring in those questions um i have copal continuing our conversation she says i have worked for two years in the wedding industry do you think this course will help me grow better if i have all, always worked um Kobel very honestly I would uh, love to meet you or speak to you and I will have somebody from my team get in touch with you on Instagram um it really depends at what juncture you are and what the last two years for you have been um I'll explain what I mean by that if you have been a freelancer in the wedding industry uh i can tell you hands down this course is exactly what you need in order to make your presence felt in this industry in a far more productive way because what we teach you here is the nuances the nuances of how to sort of you know approach a new client the nuances when it comes to making a call to a guest um how is it that you determine what kind of a theme will be right for which profile of a client uh, what are the past events or functions that have taken place in a family therefore design uh, what the future should hold for a particular bride from a particular kind of family so there is a lot of detailing uh, weddings are not just a miracle of great events and celebrities put on stage no weddings are about creating moments which the bride and groom can call their own so that is what we train you towards we train you towards we teach you how to use a certain artist to the best of his ability and yet make them look as personal and involved in a project and not just make it look like a routine oh i'm here this is my stage i'm going to jump dance stick my money and go so that is not you know what we uh want for this industry what we want for this industry is a brighter future we want to groom and train the youngsters so that they can think better than us they can be sharper they can be more innovative because guess what uh the clients want something new every day so uh couple we are here to help you in grooming you to keep evolving in your space and never be okay with okay so i think no amount of education can ever go waste and if weddings is something that you enjoy doing for two years i will definitely recommend you to take formal training in fact we also have a specialized course which will help you further get into the nitty gritties of either specializing in decor and production if that's your area of interest or get into further detailed paperwork of how to prepare hospitality uh, you know sheets your roomings your logistics or get into designing entertainment which can go beautifully with the decor and the ambiance that one wants to create so yes i i'd be happy if you know you are going to be uh, wanting to know more i'll have my team get in touch with you um do we teach decor designing i don't have an experience in that yes we do in fact we have had our students go in for internship programs with some of the leading decorators um one of them in fact had the opportunity to work on uh, uh, both the ambani weddings another had the opportunity of doing a wedding in umed bhavan and these are not opportunities that you can take for granted and you've been in this industry so you'll know what i mean where our students don't just go and stand at a venue they are actually given concrete work because for us internship is mandatory you cannot go on field without completing two months of internship and rigorous training within the office premises because 
guess what? I'm damn old fashioned. I want you to learn it the boring way because it's a school. So yes, you will surely get to learn a lot in fact, as far as decor designing is concerned. We do a lot of personality grooming as well because I think for me that's, that's uh, of equal importance, you know, knowledge on one side. But when we talk about limitless opportunities, it's how you rise to the occasion and your way of rising needs to be starting here. So I hope I've answered your questions, Kobal. If you have any more doubts, please shoot it right away. A big hello to Sanket who's joined us. Um, some of the names I'm not calling out guys because you all have put some cool funky names to your accounts. So I'm not sure if, if I, I should be announcing it because uh, it might just get a little too entertaining for the rest of us. Um, in fact, talking about opportunities, I want to share a wonderful case study that we've had at the wedding school itself uh, in the form of uh, one of our very dear students, uh, Jainendra from uh, Jalgaon, uh, who was already part of the event industry. Um, uh, a close uh, situation like Kopal's, but it's just that Kopal has been part of weddings. Um, this particular student of ours has done uh, production and, and, and you know crew management and crowd management for reality shows when they go to uh, Jalgaon, uh, you know, in, uh, for, for uh, doing the audition rounds. Uh, he then moved on to help people with their smaller requirements for events and eventually he started getting smaller function queries um, you know that pool wala lake do you know ghori lake do and that's when he realized that staying in Jalgaon he probably needs to ace up his game as far as weddings is concerned this boy used to travel to our institute every weekend religiously to get trained and groomed and Kopal, this will be a great example to even answer your question. He was three years into the event industry and I'm so happy that he still felt that there was a need to professionally get right up there in his game and he of course aspired to move to Mumbai and I, I thought it was wise to stay in Jalgaon and be the king of Jalgaon rather than be you know, a, a, a fish in an ocean over here. Um, I'm going to take a quick pause and say hello to Kainath, one of our students, uh, who is now in fact uh, working with the leading wedding management company. A big hello to he Hema as well, and Pratik Tanan, who's just joined us, uh, one of uh, the ace wedding planners, uh, who has been doing some fantastic work, uh, not just in India, uh, but internationally as well. So kudos to you. In fact, one of our students has had the opportunity to do an internship with Copper Events. Uh, that's Pratik Tandon's company. Thank you, Pratik, for all your support. And I'm looking forward to you joining us and taking a session for my students right here in the coming month. Um, Kopal is written, I'm not from Bombay. I'm planning to do this course and come to Bombay for the same. But for the first two months when you'll only teach twice a week, how will I be engaged? I'll be super happy to answer this question over a call and I'm going to request my team to get me on a call with you. Kopal, if you can just drop us a message um, on Messenger with your number, we'll be happy to get in touch with you. And um, I have a lot that is there lined up for the week, not just for you, but for every student who studies at the wedding school. I'll be happy to share the details of that in person with you. Um, going back to uh, the case study that I was talking about, uh, our student, um, he completed his course, he did his internship and uh, moved back to Jalgaon. And I'm so happy that today we are still very much a part of his life and his journey. Uh, whenever he has any doubts about how to send a quotation or what kind of a mood board he needs to make, I'm there, my team is there, happy to guide him because we really want to see the talent grow and we don't want to end our relationship with just six months of training. We want to make you a success story. So, uh, yes, Kobal, I will get in touch with you for sure. And I'm so happy that you joined me on this chat today and hang in there. 
because uh, uh, a couple of days back I received a message from one of my, uh, from the same student, Jainendra, just thanking me. I think he had a great meeting. He had gone to pitch for a new wedding and he spoke about how much uh, the grooming that we've given him here, the know-how of paperwork that we made him understand is helping him in his business there. In smaller centers, I'm realizing that uh, it is the planner who needs to actually get the clients um, updated with what is happening outside. It is a planner's responsibility to up the game, you know, so that the client's expectations rise, they understand the value of a professional, they understand what is mediocre and what is ace. So the more trained, well-groomed planners that we have in smaller cities, the better it will be in terms of being able to cater to the needs of these um, clients because they, there is a lot of uh, net worth over there. It's just that they end up coming to uh, bigger establishments because they don't have professional uh, working companies over there or individuals over there. So all of this definitely has come handy to a lot of our students. I'm sure it'll come to yours as well. Thank you, Pratik. I love your message always, anytime for you guys. I'm genuinely looking forward to it. Uh, Hema is writing, what all do you cover in your course? So, uh, Hema, we basically have a six month diploma in which we cover the entire gamut of wedding planning and management, which is grooming you for every single department so that you're ready for the game. And during the internship program is where you get your practical knowledge, which eventually helps you in terms of further identifying which area is really your area of interest. And post the course and you pass in with flight colors, you get the opportunity to work with a company and therefore get into this industry, which is just buzzing and which is just demanding that please get us good talent with great ideas. So experience is the next big thing. And in fact, my topic uh, for the next session is also that because I think experience is something which is very close to my heart. And I want that the new generation getting into this industry is much better than the existing players, which includes me, but we'll be happy to have newer minds, better ideas coming in. Um, last few points that I want to cover is something that is very, very relevant to uh, women, to young girls, uh, to boys who are not from the city and are possibly going to keep moving around. Um, that it is very important for you to understand the biggest advantage of the wedding industry is there are no geographical limitations. You can ace your game in one city and go and become the king in another because weddings take place everywhere. Uh, Hema, thanks for the thanks and thank you so much for the question. If there's anything more, I'll be happy to answer. Juhi is writing, I'm very excited to join the fourth batch. Wow, uh, we're also looking forward to this, uh, Juhi. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic and uh, you're just in the right hands, don't worry. Um, so yes, talking about the geographical limitations, there is none in this cause even if you are getting trained in a city, you are working in a particular city, for whatever reasons, either you decide to move into another city or because you got married, you are compelled to move to another city. Shadia har jagah hoti hai. Aur isi liye wedding planner ki requirement bhi har shehar mein rehti hai and there is no end to a career uh, because you moved into another. I have had a lot of my friends who, you know, especially in, in niche fields of, you know, uh, biotech, and, and many other related streams who got restricted, who had to unfortunately have a shift of career um, and a shift of line of work because the city that they moved into did not give them the right opportunity in the same area of interest. And that is one thing that I have never experienced with anyone who's joined the wedding industry. I've had um, one of my uh, favorite team members, uh, Atisha, I don't know if she's online right now, uh, brilliant talent who worked on some of our best projects. 
Um, and then she had to move back to her hometown, uh, Siliguri, because that was a promise she had made to her parents. Um, very DDLG feel is what I used to get when I would listen to her story, where Kajol is telling her Vishpuri, you know, I'll get married where you want, which I please in the jail in it. And he says, yeah, fine, go on the tour. This lovely friend of mine did not want to go on any holiday. She was very clear she wanted to do weddings. And she did that for about two years. She went on to Siliguri. She happily got married to a man of her choice. And she started her own wedding company there. And she always knew that that's what she's going to do. And she does some of the most brilliant, intricate work as far as uh, design decor is concerned. And um, now she's a mom. I'm hoping she'll bounce back to work uh, like many of the other mothers do. So th this is just one of the many examples, guys, where it doesn't matter. Like I said, your marital status doesn't matter. The city doesn't matter. If you like it, you can actually go on to continuing with the career of your choice, with your passion, weddings. Um, Aparna has sent a request to be in my live video. Uh, I'm not too sure if I'll be able to do that because I'm running out of time, but Karishma has just joined in. Hi, Karishma. Uh, Karishma is another very dear friend who also runs a wedding planning firm, King's Events, doing some great work. And, um, and and of course she's my client, uh, ex-client as well. Uh, so it's nice of you to join us, Karishma. And uh, I hope things are going good and the weather is not really troubling you too much. Um, and uh, yes, so Aparna, I'm sorry, but I will definitely chat with you. Will not be able to get you to join us. For those of you who are still inquiring with us, let me tell you, batch three is full and batch four starting on 1st of September has a few seats left in. So do not waste time, enroll now, live your dream, but live with knowledge because just living a dream out of passion, I don't think is going to be productive. Not for you, not beneficial to the industry. So, karna hai to give it a hundred percent and just do it right. I have Aditya coming in. Hi, Aditya. Aditya Saraswati. Okay, hello to you. I hope you are doing good. Um, so yes, first September is when Batch Four is starting. Last few seats left. Please do enroll, and we'll be happy to be the creators and makers of your career. Something that I'm very, very passionate about. Um, for a lot of you who are wondering uh, from out of town how it's going to be to move into Mumbai to do a course for six or eight months, let me assure you, you're not going to get a moment to breathe. So. Um, your parents are concerned that what will the rest of the day do? Don't worry. We will give you so much work in terms of assignments. Once you get into internship and you are working with a company, there is no looking back. So you are definitely not going to get that moment of oof, what will I do? It's going to keep you busy. Natasha is giving me a thumbs up. Uh, Natasha, thumbs up to you. I hope the weather is doing good to you. And I hope the wonderful talent that you are, you're going to bounce back soon and uh, with, with, with uh, lots of action that's lined up for you. We're waiting for you to get back. Aditya is written, um, we'll be joining by 16th. Okay, I am happy. I am a little clueless. Uh, are you, I'm assuming you're part of batch three. Okay, cool Aditya, I'm going to see you. That's really nice that we connected on Instagram. Uh, first, I think that's the only modern thing that I've done in my life, which is coming and chatting with all of you, but I started enjoying this. Um, old fashioned. I still love picking a call and that doesn't mean Aditya you call me, I'm just talking. So I'm going to be happy to be having you join us. Uh, for batch three that's getting started and I have um, Chagabi, Chagabi is that, I hope I'm pronouncing it correct. Um, thank you ma'am for inspiring us. I am, I, I, I am truly honored. For me, inspiring is a very, very big term and I, I do take that role very seriously. Um, I think uh, a lot of people that I have drawn inspiration from um, have shaped up the person who I am today. 
And I think since last year, my agendas, my, my motivation in life is shifted a lot uh, towards uh, the, the well-being of, of individuals, of youngsters uh, who probably don't have the kind of guidance that a lot of us, you know, were, were lucky to have. Uh, my focus is as much on how I can help uh, my industry get better. So I'm, I'm glad you're inspired by me and, and I hope I, I never disappoint you and I'm always there um, putting the right you know, example forward in front of you. Amit has just joined us. Hi, Amit. There is, um, like I said, there are some Instagram account names that I'm not going to say, but hello to everyone. I can see you and you're waving and I wave back to you. All right, it's time for me. I think I'm going to quickly sign off. Um, and I just want to say a very big thank you to all of you for joining in. I hope this uh, uh, live session that we've had with regards to the limitless opportunities, uh, the fact that weddings doesn't have any kind of geographical boundaries, the fact that your, your financial status, um, the reference with which a call is happening, none of this counts. What counts is true talent, true hard work, passion, a lot of knowledge. So keep going and work hard, strive harder. And for those of you who are suddenly motivated to join the industry, I would love to welcome you to the wedding school. This is Marisha signing off. Thank you, Shani Kona. Uh, bye and thanks. That's what he writes. Thank you to all you lovely people for joining us and I'll see you soon. Good luck and have a great week ahead. Bye.